I'm Leandra Bernstein, and we're here right after Lyndon LaRouche's live international webcast, which for everyone who was tuned in to this webcast, they saw Lyndon LaRouche uh, woke up this morning and apparently he sharpened his teeth because his, his responses, not only his responses to a series of questions that came in internationally were, were incredibly sharp, but the opening of his presentation, his keynote presentation, focused on the removal, the immediate removal of President Barack Obama if the human species is going to survive and outlast what uh, could become uh, very easily a great kill of the human species and he took this he took the standpoint of defining defining our species from so he had a complete top down approach to questions of policy questions of economics and so he was well positioned to take a number of these questions and really, frankly, put people through the ringer. So with me, with me uh, after this webcast, we have the the women's caucus of the slate of six candidates. We have Diane, Sarah, Keisha Rogers, and Rachel Brown. So I'd just like to get some of your your first responses to this to this webcast and uh, in terms of what what you've been organizing. Okay. Well, I'll just say coming to this webcast is like uh, deprogramming or maybe, um, I don't know, a, a steam cleaning your carpet after spending two days in the U.S. Congress. <laughs> I mean, I was really happy that Jessica White, one of the New York public school teachers who's been working with us, spoke up because they, we had about eight people from New York City, a couple teachers union uh, teachers and others, and um, they were blown away by the corruption and the cowardice among these aides. And for them to then see Lynn in context, you get a sense of what a genius, I mean, what a brilliant leader Lynn is, because you just say, why, you know, why is the nation stuck with these gutless wonders when you have someone like this there? And they got sharper and sharper. And then one of them told me at the end, she said, this was the best I've ever heard Lynn. She was totally excited. But of course, their standard is now completely different having, and, and it was delightful. I mean, we had people actually, they must have been passing notes out of the meeting because when the meeting would get too intense, suddenly the aid would be urgently needed in another meeting <laughs> and they'd be called out. So they did a really effective job and Lynn was great. I mean, he's hitting at exactly, I think, what what we have to take up and have to take up with everyone we're in contact with, which is the question of leadership in this crisis. And of course, he embodied it. So that's what I would say. <laughs> well... I was especially struck by Mr. LaRouche's remarks and remarks because, you know, I'd look at the three of us represented to he here today as uh, leadership of the slate of six, uh, Rachel, Diane, and myself, and as Lynn was discussing the fight required for saving the human species from extinction and mankind and crushing this environmentalism, crushing the system of um, the greeny policy. Uh, it was clear to me that the three of us have a unique role in that, uh, thinking about the fact that as Diane's campaign in New Jersey, uh, the home of Alexander Hamilton, uh, Rachel's campaign, the home of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and my campaign, Save NASA and Human Space Flight uh, and Impeach Obama, are key integral parts in this fight for crushing this greeny environmentalist policy. And we are out to save the human race. And LaRouche, Mr. LaRouche gave the clear leadership and solutions to what is required to do that. No more cowardice. Don't undercut or sugarcoat the issue. We have to make sure that people are willing to do what has to be done to save this country. And he made it clear, to save the country, you have to get Obama out. So four words for people again, save NASA, impeach Obama. <laughs> Uh, I'll just say that it was, for me, for personally, one of the most moving webcasts that I've been to. Maybe because of the moment we're at right now, that people are, are 
looking for much bigger questions. And, and LaRouche brought it to that. He said, what's the big question, the role of mankind in the universe? And saying we have to return now to a credit system, not a monetary system. And, and going through what that actually is, like, for example, the fact that Europe and the United States, even if we uh, go with Glass-Steagall, there's still a lot of legitimate debt that we cannot pay right now. And so we can actually, uh, you know, make legitimate that debt, make it fungible, as Hamilton said, by creating the physical processes to pay it back. The same way that our nation was founded on, he said, we have to do right now with NAWAPA, rebuilding the TVA system itself, uh, solving the problem that's been created by, by the floods and the lack of funding to the Mississippi River system and the Army Corps of Engineers. We have to put a commitment to the to rebuilding the physical process of our nation and the entire planet in the way that the, bi the biosphere itself does. So that's, that's fun. We've got to increase the energy flux density of the planet with our minds. So, yeah, but just the passion, too, that, that, that LaRouche was communicating is the passion that would, which we have to fight for these ideas. All right, I want to thank all three of you and remind our viewers that, yes, we have a slate of six candidates, but as Mr. LaRouche said in this webcast, that slate is essentially uh, infinitely expandable. We're, we're recruiting the leadership on this website into these campaigns, and uh, frankly, the, the leadership that, that each of you has demonstrated through through your through your campaigns through recruiting people what Lyndon LaRouche said today there are no more excuses the American population people internationally are ready to hear this message that we are out to do no less than save the human species from President Obama from the green policy that he represents along with his vicious cohorts in uh, Buckingham Palace, uh, and that's, that's the agenda, that's the immediate proposal. The American people are ready to hear it, and we have a slate and a website and a webcast that is communicating that all over the planet right now. So uh, stay tuned to LaRouche Pack, make sure to contribute generously, and we'll be seeing you.